Today is the um, first planting of a biodiverse carbon sequestration project, um, which is, I believe, very significant for the property Meadowbank because uh, we have an opportunity to look at the long-term future. This is part of a broader project uh, of three sites, uh, over 100 hectares, in which we're, we're, well, we've established the plantings for 130 years. We've planted 130,000 plants into this landscape with the aim of storing carbon and improving the biodiversity outcomes for the state. You can see behind me there's some extensive um, areas of forest and over on that side there's also some extensive areas of forest. And up until now this was a, uh, a gap, if you like, between the two areas and they will link, call, link these areas together so species can travel between the two. As a private landholder I'm providing the land and we're also um, providing uh, secure fencing around the whole area. The actual returns from the bio sequestration of carbon, and we have an arrangement where we take a percentage of those returns in conjunction with Greening Australia. We've done baseline measurements of the amount of carbon that are in the existing sites, and we'll follow those over time. We are interested to see how the genetic stock perform. We've got genotypes or seedlings from a whole variety of different parts of Tasmania and the mainland. We want to see which of those individuals survive and do well in a changing climate in this landscape. And that'll be followed by geneticists and students for generations to come. In each of these trials, we've got a eucalypt by itself and a eucalypt with another eucalypt and a eucalypt with other trees like she oak or with acacia. We want to see how those mixtures perform over time and that, how the mixtures affect the amount of carbon that's stored. I'm just starting this. I'll be in old age when the trees are still very young in this site. So it's a generational thing. We have an opportunity today to plant something that's going to last and, and be measured for the next century.